certainly a big big part of fighting is the ability to to stay composed because you don't want to waste all your energy through nervous energy and then you will run out of uh, run out of puff very quickly if that's the case. Yeah, that's it. The, uh, the old adrenaline start, starts and you want to be able to control that. So, uh, I always found the, the hardest part of getting to the ring was the, the part right before the fight started. It was always the worst. <laughs> Once the fight started, you generally didn't have time to think about too much else, but beforehand, uh, that's when um, that's when that adrenaline was going over time. And that's it, but keeping that composure, you know, I see a lot of these young fellas now train really, really well in their gyms and learning how to control that. So uh, certainly a lot different than uh, I remember when I was fighting many, many, many years ago, and, and yourself, Kevin, probably. Yeah, many so. years ago. Here we go. Straight into it. Very, very similar fighters, very similar styles too by the looks of that, just straight off. Let's see if that changes. So both fighters uh, tonight are uh, named Tyson, so I'm going to call Retro and we to see. <laughs> That's fair enough. We've got Gold Coast and uh, Sunshine Coast here, so uh, let's see who walks away with this. But um, Both have similar physiques and height and yeah. very similar skills. Yeah, they look, they look very similar in uh, both their technique and their uh, their uh, energy levels so far. Nice hands there from Red Corner. Yeah. You can see the straight punches are, are certainly the most effective punches when a fighter can use them look, uh, nicely. And then the ability to mix those straight hands with the kicks. But the blue corner is certainly coming back some good leg kicks. The red corner not allowed to take a step back though. His hands are nice. Yeah, that's that just, kick there. It's just shot the shot at the moment. That's, that's a pretty hard both of them train nice, you know, nice and tidy, nice and straight, nice good techniques, clean, clean strikes. Exactly, both have uh, really good discipline in there I feel. And again, train out of two, two uh, gyms with a lot of experience. Tyson Shellhammer coming out of uh, Hellraiser Combat. Club of the Sunshine Coast under Ryan Doyle and Tyson Daly from Fight World, Fight World Gym, gym trained down there by Dem Jill. So uh, very good, uh, very good uh, gyms, and they're uh, working uh, really well to sort of uh, get ready for the round, for round two now. Oh, 
We certainly do. Uh, one of my favourite techniques uh, was the low kick. They can just... bell rings. So they walk back to the end of round two now. Get a little bit of direction. And surely their uh, coaches will have uh, worked out what they need to do to, uh, to optimise their ability to uh, score in this next round. Yeah, those low kicks coming through really well from the blue corner there. And uh, it just reminds me, in my younger days, I had the good fortune to train with one of my uh, favourite fighters, Benny the Jet Akides, and I remember him explaining when he first experienced getting hit with a leg kick, and he said it felt like his eyeballs were going to pop out of his head. And uh, I can certainly vouch for that. It's not a nice feeling. Funny, I caught up with Benny about three or four weeks ago when he was up in Brisbane here. Oh, so yeah. uh, I got to train with him a little bit uh, and had a good chat to him during the session. He's certainly a gentleman in the sport. He's still uh, going strong. A lot of energy still in him yet. Here the boys are back in it in round three now, I think. So uh, neither of them want to take a backward step. You can just feel that leg kicks. Yeah, there's a That leg's starting to look pretty uh, red on the, on the red corner. Yeah, and he's getting some checks in there, but his shin, I think he may have injured his shin a little bit earlier with one of those leg checks.
me, uh, Blue Corners just sort of stepped it up a little bit there. And Red Corners trying, trying really hard, but just not making it, uh, making it through. You know, walking up and not quite getting him to score as much as he'd like to. That's right. Uh, and I also think the Blue Corner keeps moving around to the Red Corner's right-hand side. And I think if the Red Corner was able to just step in with big low kicks as he did that, they would be very effective. And then he'd be able to launch his attack uh, with big strong hands over the top. And, you know, he's still got a chance in this fight, but... Unless the tactics change, it's going to take something special, I feel. Yeah. Not, not impossible at all. One, 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 one kick in ten of five. Yeah, so, uh, certainly not impossible. Let's see if, let's see that blue just not giving him any chance here. Straight out, one, one, two. Red's trying to step in and get in. The blue's just so evasive and still so right on his feet, moving out of the way. Countering really well. Yeah, I think Red was the first thing is he's got to stop the blue corner moving. The best way to do that is kick the legs. Kick the legs. But you'll see here, blue corner will say, oh, that's it. And as you can see also, Steve, as the blue corner's landing those leg kicks, it's just slowing the red corner's movement down a little bit, so he's able to get scored on. That's it indeed, you know, so. Even if they're not hurting him, they're just slowing him down. Thank you, Steve. All the best. 